Numerical Methods for Engineers, Problem 5.15. A beam is loaded as shown in figure P5.15. Use the bisection method to solve for the position inside the beam where there is no moment. So here we have our figure. and our four sections of the beam. The first step we take is to add up all the forces acting on the beam. So all the downward forces here and the supporting forces of F1 and F2 should be equal. To find our forces, we must take the overall weight and multiply it by the distance on the rod, and then sum all those forces together. So here, we have our forces force 1 and all our forces force 2 and then here we have the sum of all our forces when applied to their to the singularity functions that coincide with the forces after that we take integral of the forces and we arrive at the internal shear force here. Then we do this again and we arrive at the momentum that we were looking for here. And to find where the moment is at zero, we use the false position equation down here. And plot it out. So here's the plot of the moment of the rod where the moment is zero. While we're waiting for the graph to show up, here is the singularity function that we put our forces into. Now let's take a look at the graph. Here's the graph of the moment of the beam, and the moment becomes zero about about at nine as seen on the graph. The red line is our approximation to the zero point. And our equation says that the forces are zero at 8.9189, which coincides with our graph.
Now I'm just going to show the forces versus the shear force and momentum or the uh, internal shear force and the internal momentum on the rod. And here's our graph. Here we have in red momentum. Here in green is our shear force. And here in blue is our actual force on the rod.